Hi Cancer and welcome to your monthly love tarot messages here. So the reading here is intended for Cancer Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross watching. Um, this is going to be a general reading guys so please just keep that in mind. If you're after personal tarot reading with myself feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So I'm going to give the cards a shuffle and see what they predict for you this month in terms of love and romance. Okay straight away we've got the eight, um, the seven sorry, the seven of swords. I can count most days. Um, okay, we'll see what else is coming up. Okay, the Ten of Swords here. Six of Pentacles, the Devil here. King of Cups, the Magician, and the Knight of Cups. Okay, I'm seeing that there is something here... I feel like there could be some manipulation happening, okay? Um, some emotional manipulation. You could be dealing with someone who is a manipulator, who's trying to manipulate you and your emotions, who's trying to manipulate an outcome of a certain situation. You could be sort of dealing with an energy that isn't being entirely forthright and isn't being entirely honest. However, it could be that you're the one that's trying to manipulate yourself into thinking that you know the person that you're dealing with is the one even though they hurt you from time to time they disrespect you you know the relationship that you have with them isn't healthy it can be toxic there's an element of toxicity involved so I feel like for some of you you know it's either the person that you're dealing with is a manipulator okay someone who I feel like maybe they're not and maybe it's not so much that they are a manipulator. Maybe it's just that things are not so much what they seem. Because you do have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups, you know, for as great as he is, he can be a bit of an idealist. And he, he might, you know, he does have a tendency to romanticize a situation. So he has a tendency to look at something and, you know, see it through a pair of rose-colored glasses. Okay, so sometimes, you know, he'll look at something and see what he wants to see rather than what's actually really there. You know, try to pretty up a little bit. So make sure that you are not the Knight of Cups, whereas, in, you know, you're not, you're seeing the person for who they are and you're seeing a situation for what it is rather than for what you want it to be, rather than for what the potential that it holds, okay? Because a lot of the times, especially the Knight of Cups energy, um, he, he falls in love with the idea of a person or the idea of a relationship rather than the actual reality of it. I'm seeing that there is someone... I feel like, and because swords is a uh, mental energy, governs, you know, the element of air here, I feel like there is someone here who could be telling you things that you want to hear or who could be trying to, like, fabricate a version of a truth. Um, I feel like this person is aware of what they do. I mean, you've got the seven of swords, you know, he's got that sly smirk that stretches across his face. So clearly he's well aware of his actions. Okay, there's that self-awareness that what he's doing is wrong, trying to pinch those swords from that military camp. And he's tiptoeing on, you know, on his uh, feet because he's trying to get out of the situation without actually, you know, making a sound, without actually, you know, having any witnesses nearby. He's got this smirk, okay, so he's well aware that, you know, this is the wrong thing to be doing, but he's hoping he's going to get away with it without being caught. So the individual that you're involved with, it's important that you don't make mistakes, uh, you, sorry, you don't make excuses for them because they know what they're doing, okay? So cheating is cheating. It's not, it's not a mistake. It's a choice, okay? Um, you know, telling you a lie, again, is is not a mistake. It's a deliberate choice. It's a deliberate intent to fool you. There's deliberate action. So, you know, don't make excuses for this individual, especially if you catch them in the act. Because for a lot of you, you will be doing just that. You will come to learn of a situation, the truth of a situation. So something may be exposed to you. Um, you know, the manipulation behind um, a, a certain situation or behind a person's energy and their intent um, you'll catch someone in the act, you'll catch them right-handed here, um, you'll catch them off guard. Um, again, don't make excuses for this individual, you know, it is what it is. Okay, because for the Ten of Swords, for a lot of you, I feel like it's going to lead to that Ten of Swords situation. It's going to feel hurtful, it's going to feel painful, or it does feel hurtful and painful. It feels like a betrayal. I mean, how could they? It's something you didn't foresee. Um, you know, how dare they act this way? How dare they hurt you? But for a lot of you Cancerians, I feel like this has, because of the repetition of the swords, this person, you know, it, it's not the first time they've done, they've told you a version of a truth or they lied to you 
or it's not the first time they will lie to you. So if they get caught out, be careful because I feel like there's patterns there, okay? Um, so if someone, you know, did it once and got away with it, they're going to push the envelope. They're going to push the boundaries and, you know, they'll do it again. So important that you do not make excuses here. Um, the devil energy tells me, you know, it's going to be hard to let go of this person because I can see that the two of you are really attracted to each other. There's a very strong sexual chemistry, you know, um, the sexual gratification, you know, it, it's there. However, the devil here, I feel like is inviting for you to ask yourself, you know, um, what's worth it in the end? You know, that um, the short term, um, like pleasure, the short term sexual gratification of the situation or the long-term pain that's initially co um, costing you. Because for a lot of you, you are involved with someone whom, you know, their behavior, what they say, or how they treat you, and how they mistreat you, that's damaging to you, okay? Yet they may come, you know, they may do something and come forward and apologize, but they'll do it again, okay? So just because they apologize, it doesn't necessarily, you know, make them, make them right here. So for a lot of you, you're stuck in this vicious cycle, and you keep... You know, you keep forgiving this person or you keep overlooking these red flags or you keep making excuses for this person. So you have to weigh it up, okay? For some of you, you have to weigh it up, the short-term pleasure or the long-term pain because it is damaging to your self-esteem. It's damaging to your health, your mental health, your physical health. Um, and it's just, the longer you stay, the deeper this is going to go, okay? And the longer you stay, the harder it will be to pull away. So... For a lot of you, I feel like, you know, if this person if this person doesn't take any um, responsibility for their actions and their words, then I feel like it's best you cut ties with this because I feel like, you know, the magician, he's a manipulator. It's what he does best and he's well aware of, you know, um, his skills and his talents in that sense. And I feel like this person is aware, you know, that their lies here can get them out of situations certain tricky situations so once again this person that you're involved with there's a lack of balance here in their energies okay so in the past and it could be it could have started as early as childhood like as child as early as childhood issues where you know their parents might have said no and in order to sort of go around that um they might have told lies okay and from you know an early age it worked and now it's like a paradigm it's like a um you know a uh, behavioral pattern it, it's it's work they stuck to it and you know it continues to work so I feel like for a lot of you you know the devil here it's like it's something that they it's something that they're addicted to they're addicted to telling lies or they're addicted to being abusive or they're addicted to you know um, power or control here and it's something that they that it won't be easy for them to kick and being in a relationship with an addict is never never easy guys um, you're also coming up as a king of cups here cancer okay and the King of Cups is just a reminder for as difficult and as dark and as heavy as things seem, you know, you always have a way out. Okay, so yes, the glass is half full, but it's also half empty or, you know, or vice versa. Yes, you know, it can get dark sometimes and, you know, it, it gets pitch black um, when, when, when it's nighttime. But night um, also follows day. So you have to remind yourself, you know, embody the king of cups and that emotional maturity and the intelligence that he has in order to put an end to situation or put an end to someone who's taking advantage of you it's taking advantage of your kindness and generosity or who's you know just depriving you of um your energy your emotional your mental energy here because you do have you know you do have the king of cups energy and you do have what it takes to navigate out of you know any tricky situations that you may be involved in all right guys and the this is your reading your messages thank you as always for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel liking um commenting i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages so stay tuned thanks guys again bye for now